The Overwatch League debuts with the help of a $90 million Twitch deal. Major League Soccer announces its esports plans. And a Dota 2 competition in the Philippines loses its major status over conflicts with the country's drug laws. This is your TO Monday Morning Briefing. Hey everyone, this is Graham Ashton from the Esports Observer, bringing you the biggest esports business headlines of last week. The Overwatch League has done considerably well in its first four days in terms of viewership, thanks in part to a two-year deal signed between Blizzard Entertainment and Twitch, who now have worldwide exclusivity of the games outside of China. A report from Ben Fisher for Sports Business Daily says the deal is worth at least $90 million. There was more news from the Overwatch League media day. Soul Dynasty announced that Netgear's Nighthawk brand would be its jersey sponsor going forward, and Immortals CEO Noah Winston said that the Microsoft Theater in the LA Live Complex, owned by the organization's investor, AEG, would be the Los Angeles Valiant's tentative home venue for Season 3. There's plenty of news outside of Overwatch, of course. Major League Soccer is joining the trend of sports leagues starting their own FIFA competitions with its own eMLS. 19 existing clubs will recruit a player from their region and compete for the trophy in April during the PAX East Gaming Convention. In partnership news, Riot Games has announced they'll be extending its deal with the NCAA Division I Collegiate Network Big Ten through to 2019. Riot will provide close to $500,000 in scholarships, split evenly amongst the 14 Big Ten schools. Meanwhile, G2 Esports has partnered with electronics company AOC, which is its third technology partnership to date, and FlyQuest jerseys will bear the logo of the Mars brand Snickers when the NALCS begins on January 20th. Dota 2 now has one less major than at the start of the year, now that Valve Corporation has officially demoted the Galaxy Battles 2 competition. In its announcement, the software company heavily implied that it was uncomfortable forcing players to submit themselves to strict Filipino drug tests. Many teams subsequently dropped out of the tournament, which appears to be going on as planned, but it's anyone's guess how other global invite competitions in the Philippines will tackle this unprecedented issue. Finally, Team SoloMid could be on the verge of accepting a $25 million investment from Bessemer Venture Partners, according to sources close to ESPN. Up until now, TSM was the only one of the 10 NALCS teams without major outside capital investment, though the organization's owner, Andy Reginald Din, took to Reddit and said no deal has been done yet. Well, that's all for this week. If you want to keep up to date with the latest esports business news, you can find daily updates and features on our website, esportsobserver.com. You can also follow us on social media using the names above. We'll see you next week.